there a little bit earlier, but we had a lot going on. Um, my daughter lives in Chapel or in Durham, as you know, and her husband's company, which is Epic Games, <clears throat> just decided that they aren't going to be able to have anybody in the office until uh, September of 2022. So um, I, I mean, this was a big announcement. He was thinking that he was going to go back to work um, this, this year. He was planning on going back in September. <clears throat> so um, they may come back and stay with us, which would be very exciting. But at the same time, it's no fun for them to not be living normally. I don't think anybody's living normally right now. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide, starting to move down on our backs. This is flow and we're going to do a little bit of power, but again, you don't have to unless you don't want to. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. <clears throat> And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies. As though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. <clears throat> Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, Four. One more time. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. And exhale. Two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. <clears throat> allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that, we may, that you may have or that we may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. Which we know. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in such control at all times. Connect 
act with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Feel that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over that right shoulder and breathe. Breathing into this simple twist. Again, opening up those right obliques as you do so. And breathing. Cherish this moment. Cherish this breath. Tomorrow's a day for everyone. Inhale back to center. Exhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Inhale back to center. Wrap your arms around your knees. Grab opposite elbows. Rock back and forth. Massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. And then grab your insteps, drag your knees down towards your shoulder blades. Push up with your feet, pull down with your hands and have a baby, rock back and forth. Maybe touching first one knee and then the other to the mat. Pull those shoulders back and down as we always do in yoga. Come back to center, inhale first, exhale, extend that right leg. Now, if you'd like to grab onto that right toe, this is easier for me with my wrist. Just drag that shoulder back and down. You can also hold on to that instep, that's a deeper stretch. Wherever you are is perfect. This face Half dragonfly. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Drag that left shoulder back and down. Again, you can also grab onto your left toe with your index finger and thumb. Dragging that left shoulder back and down as you do. Wherever you are is perfect. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend both legs. Again, either grabbing onto both toes or holding onto your insteps, depending on the level of stretch that you'd like. Whatever feels good today. This is full dragon fly. Inhale both knees back to center. And then from here, extend your legs above you. Draw your arms up overhead. Allow your legs to fall down to a 45 degree angle. Inhale first. Exhale as you draw those knees in. Crunch it out. Inhale back. Exhale all the way in. Inhale back, exhale in, two more or seven more, depending on where you are. Inhale back, exhale in, inhale back, exhale in, you can stop here or follow us. Inhale back. Exhale, in, inhale, back, 
exhale in. Three more if you're with us. Inhale back. Exhale in. Inhale back. Exhale in. Inhale back. And exhale in. Good job. Wrap your arms around your knees. Grab opposite elbows. Rock back and forth. Good job. And then extend your legs below you. Moving into Matsyasana. Inhale as you push those hips up. Place your hands below your buttocks. Draw those elbows in. Exhale first. Inhale as you push into the mat, coming up onto the crowns of your heads. Again, in fish pose, Matsyasana. Opening up those sinuses. Opening up that area between your rib cages. Increasing your immunity. Inhale as you push into the mat with your elbows. Come back onto the backs of your heads. And then from here, exhale as you roll over onto the left side, left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Inhale that right knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you, infinity pose. Again, drag that right shoulder back and down. Breathing in and out. Breathe deep breaths here. Then inhale as you draw that right knee in. Exhale, extend in front of you. Roll over onto the right side. Inhale that left knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Drag that left shoulder back and down. Breathing in and out in infinity pose. Inhale that left knee in. Exhale, extend in front of you. Draw your knees in. Spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again, allowing each vertebrae to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these. And arrive at the tops of our mats in Krasana, simple seated pose. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that right leg. Flex your foot. Good job. Place your right hand on your right knee. Shoulders are back and down. Inhale that left arm up and over as you slide that right hand down. Find those right toes as much as you can. Drag that left shoulder back and down. In gatekeeper. Breathing in and out. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 but keep that right knee facing the ceiling. And then just melt. Humbly bowing gatekeeper, breathing in and out. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk your hands to the left. Grab onto that left knee with your right hand. Draw that left hand back, twisting 
releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs, but you have to remember to breathe. Good job. Inhale that left arm up and over. Find those right toes. In twisted Janya Shashasana. And smile, it's Wednesday. Exhale first. Inhale that right shoulder through. Exhale down to traditional Janusha Shasana. Hit the shin, just curl in. Maybe place that left hand over your left kidney, forcing the breath into your kidney, puffing it out, <clears throat> keeping it healthy. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you drop that right foot in. <clears throat> Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Good job. Place your left hand on your left knee. Inhale that right arm up and over as you slide that left hand down. Find those left toes. Again, in gatekeeper, dragging that right shoulder back and down, opening up those right obliques. Good job. Inhale back up again. Exhale first. Inhale both arms up. Exhale, pull forward, but keep that left knee facing the ceiling. Humbly bowing yourselves. Fingers come down first. Drag your hearts down. Good job. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the right, grabbing onto the right knee with your left hand. Bringing that right hand back, twisting. Releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale that right arm up and over. Find those left toes in twisted Janya Shrikasana. Then drag that left shoulder through. Exhale down to traditional Janya Shashasana. Maybe place that right hand over your right kidney if this is in your practice, forcing the breath into that kidney. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that left foot in. Good job. And then from here, turn the crown just a little bit. <clears throat> Inhale those arms all the way out. Open up that heart. Exhale as you cross over, grabbing your shoulders. Inhale your shoulders up towards your ears. And exhale back and down. Open up those shoulders. Inhale up towards your ears. Exhale back and down. Inhale up towards your ears. Exhale back and down. Inhale as you open those arms wide. Exhale as you cross in the opposite direction. Grab opposite elbows. Inhale up towards your ears. I guess they're not opposite elbows. They're still the same elbows. 
but you're grabbing the, with the on the other side. Exhale back and down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale back and down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale back and down. Inhale those arms all the way open. And exhale down to the mat. Inhale that right arm up and over. Find that left ear. Exhale over to the right. Opening up that left side of your neck. And breathe. Inhale, that right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale, that left arm up and over. Find that right ear. Exhale, over to the left. Open that right side of your neck. Inhale, that left arm up. Exhale down. Place your hands in front of you. Roll up into table. Again, in table, our shoulders are above our wrists. Our hips are above our knees. And if we look between our legs, we should see our feet. Let's go ahead and inhale the cow as we drag our spines down. Look up towards the ceiling as you do. Exhale to cat. Dragging our spines up, gazing at our navels. Open up those spines, open up your hearts. Inhale. To cow. Look up towards the ceiling, drag those spines down. Exhale. Cat, drag your spines up, gaze at your navel. One last time, inhale. Cow. And exhale. To cat. Good job. Come back to a flat back. Look out just beyond your mat. Inhale first. Exhale as you drag your hips to the right. Look at your left foot. Inhale to center. Exhale over to the left. Look at your right foot. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left, good job. Inhale to center, curl your toes under, sit back on your heels. And then either make infinity symbols with your wrists. Excuse me. Or you can draw your hands behind you. Or you can come up on your toes in a balance. Either making infinity symbols with your wrists or drawing them behind you. Wherever you are is perfect. Opening up those wrists, opening up your toes as well. Just want to let you know that there is a new thing here in the valley called Jurassic Quest, starting on, I believe, the 27th of August. And it's going to go for two weeks. And it's 70 huge dinosaurs that are um, the size of dinosaurs, the actual size of dinosaurs. And they're, they move and they make noise. And they're going to be set up in the Gila River um, arena, or actually around it. And you can go by in a car and see them. And you pay by car. So we're doing that on the 28th. So I just want to tell people about it in case you don't know. I think it sounds pretty cool. And it's COVID safe. <laughs> Can't get out of your car. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rock forward on your elbows. Slap out your toes. By the way, this is actually moving around the state. So if you are not in the Phoenix area, you might be able to see it someplace else. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tuck in my shirt. Tuck in yours if you like to. Plant your palms into the mat. Curl your toes under. Lift your hips, drag your chest back towards your thighs. In our first downward facing dog of the day, Ardha Mukhasvasana. Maybe walking the dog, lifting first one heel and then the other. Good job. Inhale that right leg all the way up. Exhale as you bend your knee, swinging it through to your left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, right elbow, mountain climbers. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back. Let's do it one more time. Exhale to your left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back. Stack your hips. Bend your knee. Rotate your foot. Open up your ankle. And then rotate that knee. Open up your hip. If this is in your practice, flip over into wild thing. Opening up, maybe placing your hand over your heart. Good job. And then slowly rotate over. We're rotating into side plank. So plant that right hand in the mat. Open up. Or if you'd like to, you can be on your elbow. Wherever you are is perfect. Possibly draw that left hand overhead. Possibly lift your left leg in side plank. And then from here, let's go ahead and come back to plank. So rotating forward so that our shoulders are over our wrists. Draw those elbows in. Inhale first. Five, four, three, two, one. Down to the mat, good job. Extend your arms in front of you. Legs go back. Inhale up. Good job. To lotus position, maybe rocking back and forth with the breath. Draw those arms to a 45 degree angle. Open up even more. And exhale down, place that right cheek on the mat. Good job, everyone. <clears throat> Bend your knees, grab onto your ankles, inhale up to bow pose. And again, maybe rock back and forth, massaging your bellies through the breath. Exhale down, left cheek comes down to the mat. Place your hands at shoulder height. Curl your toes under. Exhale all the way back to down dog. Walking the dog 
Good job. Inhale, that left leg all the way up. Exhale as you bend your knee, coming through to your right elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale back. Exhale to the right elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back. Stack your hips, bend your knee. Rotate that foot backwards and forwards. Open up your ankle. Rotate your knee backwards and forwards. Open up your hip, uh, your hip, yes. And then if you'd like to, draw that leg over for wild thing. I can't balance on my right hand yet. Opening up, maybe drawing that left hand to heart center. And then plant that left hand in the center of your mat. Rotate over to side plank. Now you can be here, you can be down on your elbow in dolphin side plank if you'd like. Draw that right hand overhead. Lift your right leg if this is in your practice. And then rotate over and forward. Inhale first. Draw those elbows in. Exhale, chaturanga down. All the way to the mat. Inhale up. To sphinx pose. Place your elbows on the mat. Inhale first, exhale as you bend that left knee. Look back at your left foot. Good job. Inhale to center. Exhale, look back at your right foot. Inhale to center. Exhale, look back at your left foot. Inhale to center. Exhale, look back at your right foot. Good job. Inhale to center. Curl those toes under. Plant your hands beside your shoulders. Exhale all the way back to down dog. Walking the dog. Again, lifting first one heel and then the other. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees. Step or jump up. Inhale, halfway up to Arda. Flat back, drag those shoulders back and down. Exhale, down to Uttanasana. Standing forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Swan dive backwards. Hands come together. Slight back bend. And hands come to Anjali Mudra. Bowing our heads in honor of our practices. Good job. Okay, I'm going to adjust this. We're going to move into dancer. So we're going to make sure that either we have a wall or if you'd like to use this as a balanced position, that's also fine. Let me take my brace off. Standing facing, <laughs> standing facing the wall, allowing all four corners of your feet to grow into the mat. Now, where you want to be is so that when you bend over, you form a 90 degree angle with the wall. Can you place the palm of your hand on the wall? 
or again, you can just stand without a wall, using this as a balanced position for dancer. Drawing all four corners of your feet into the earth. Open up, calf muscles moving inward, thighs are moving inward, pelvis down the back, abdomen is in, our shoulders are back and down. The crowns of our heads are moving towards the heavens and our hands are open to receive. Good job. Draw your hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that right tippy toe. Inhale that right leg up into a marching position. Keep your foot flexed. Exhale first. Inhale that left arm up overhead. And then exhale as you swing that right leg through, grabbing onto your right ankle with your right hand. Inhale first. Exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips. Drag that right leg up above you with your right hand. Kick into your hand to rise higher. Good job. Exhale as you come back up again. Draw those hands to Anjali Mudra. Inhale first. And exhale down. Good job. Shake it out. Standing in Tadasana once again, mountain pose. Hands are open to receive. Draw those hands to Anjali Mudra. Come up on that left tippy toe. Inhale that left knee up into a marching position. Exhale first. Inhale that right arm up overhead. Exhale as you draw that left knee through. Grabbing onto that left ankle. Inhale first. Exhale down. Coming into dancer. Kicking into that left hand as much as you can. Breathing in and out. Inhale all the way back up. Hands come to Anjali Mudra. Good job. Exhale first. Inhale once again. And exhale that leg down. Shake it out. Good job. Come to the tops of your mats. Inhale first. Exhale as you take a giant step back with your left foot. Toes in, heels out. Draw those hands to Anjali Mudra. Inhale first. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves. As far as you can, dragging the crowns of your heads down towards the mat. Allow your hands to fall open with gravity. Draw your wrists back towards your waist. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale halfway up and spread your feet if you can. Artist, and then exhale down. Walking those hands back, crowns of your heads come down towards the mat. Inhale as you come back out again. Exhale as you bend that left knee. Coming into flying monkey, flex that right foot. And again, you can stay here with those hands on the mat. You can draw those hands to Anjali Mudra, or you can draw them up ahead, up above you in Flying Monkey. 
wherever you are is perfect. And we all have one side that's better than the other. My side is my right side. Working on balance. And then from here, use the strength of your legs. To come up to the top of your mat in flying monkey on the right side. Maybe have your hands in Anjali Mudra. Possibly draw them overhead if this is in your practice. And smile. Draw them back down. And slowly twist to the front of the room. Walk that right foot over, right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk your hands back. Maybe take Venus Mudra. And exhale down. Good job. Coming down on that left cheek, if this is in your practice. In resting pigeon. Maybe you're on your elbows. Maybe you're on your white right cheek. Excuse me. My husband bought me an enormous, beautiful crystal bowl yesterday. I think it's about over a foot, it might be. A foot and a half across, I think it's huge. And I have to use, I have to learn how to use it before I can use it in yoga. But it's wonderful to have it, as well as some other instruments for yoga. I thought it was so sweet of him to do that. I was really surprised, but it's really wonderful to have it. I may start sound meditation when I understand how to do. It. <laughs> but not yet. <laughs> Again, breathing in and out. Opening up that right hip. Releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease, possibly take a bind. In the Mariandrasana twist. Again, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Dragging your shoulders back and down as you breathe. Inhale back to center. Keep those knees stacked. Blades of your feet on the mat. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. And then just melt. Owl space. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Plant the palms of your hands into the mat, blades of your feet in the mat. Inhale as you extend those legs. 
Exhale as you walk your hands to the right, coming up on the balls of your feet, all the way around, 360 degrees. Cross your knees, knees down, hips down, sitting up straight in cow space. Good job. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. Again, this time opening up that right sciatic nerve. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Plant your hands into the mat. Plant the blades of your feet into the mat. Extend your legs and exhale to the left. All the way around, 360 degrees. Coming up on the balls of your feet, knees down, hips down, sit up straight, in cow space, good job. Extend your legs, shake it out, and come up to the tops of your mats. I'm going to go ahead and quickly adjust the camera and plug in my computer in case. There we go. In Malasana, yogi squat. Again, your biceps, the backs of your biceps are just below your knees. Your hands are at Anjali Mudra. All four corners of your feet are growing into the mat. Sitting up straight. Shoulders are dragged back and down. Maybe plant your hands into the mat in front of you or the floor. Come up on your tippy toes, rock back and forth until you come in to Vakasana Crow Pose. I hope to do that sometime soon. Or you can join us in Malasana. Inhaling from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra and exhaling down again. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with your right foot and walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Maybe take Venus Mudra, shoulders back and down. Exhale forward, dragging that right cheek down to the mat. Good job. In Resting Pigeon. Again, opening up that left hip this time. Releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing there. Breathing in and out. In Resting Pigeon. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming up on that left hip. Swing that right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease. Possibly take a bind if this is in your practice. Inhale back to center. Stretch out your legs. Shake them out. Good job. Flex your feet. Sit up straight. Make sure that you have a block handy first. We're moving into Dandasana. Inhale both arms all the way up. 
Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. As far as you can, place those hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale down, chin to shin. And then just curl in. In Dandasana, staff pose. Slowly inhale as we walk those hands back again. Good job, bend your knees. Place your hands on either side of your knees. Inhale those knees, <clears throat> those feet up, excuse me. To a 90 degree angle, exhale as you extend your legs, open up to bow pose. Bend your knees, grab onto your toes. You can stay here or extend those legs. Drag your shoulders back and down. In this both pose modification, slowly bend your knees, arms come out on either side. Inhale first, exhale inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Take your block in hand. Inhale as you push those hips up. Place your block under your sacrum and then exhale as you release onto the block. Good job. You can also draw those arms overhead. You can walk your feet out in front of you so that you're on your heels in a T formation or a mushroom formation. Draw those arms back overhead. Walk your feet back towards your sit bones. And then inhale as you push those hips up, release the block, exhale down. Good job. Draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth. Inhale through your noses, sigh it out, inhale. And then from here, either leg straight up or possibly move into a shoulder stand in an inversion allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brain. Walk those shoulders in so that you can rise higher. Again, possibly draw those legs overhead. <laughs> I don't have enough room here. In Halasana or, or Plow Pose, if this is in your practice. Possibly bend your knees, placing them on either side of your ears in ear pressure pose or snail pose. And then inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae coming back down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out. Inhale. <sighs> and then exhale. As you release that left leg, inhale that right arm up overhead. Exhale as you push your right knee over to the left. Look over your right shoulder in a full body twist. Inhale back to center. Draw those knees in. 
Exhale that right leg down. Inhale your left arm up overhead. Exhale as you push your left knee over to the right. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Inhale back to center. Draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. And then with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive. Down to ground. Starting to relax. Relax your toes. Relax your feet. Relax your ankles, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers, relax your hands, relax your um, wrists, relax your forearms, relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks, relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads, just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug. Maybe rock back and forth. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room, legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thanks everyone. Sorry, I was a little distracted. I have a very small compared to the other spider that I had in the house. <laughs> spider next to me moving all over the place and I want to figure out a way to get him out without hurting him, but I need to get something to do so. So <laughs> I didn't really want to have him walk on me because I've had that experience before <laughs> and it wasn't a good one. So anyway, um, I apologize that I was 